Hello, fire signs, and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so this is a small collective read for all fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I ask you take what resonates and leave the rest for the rest. If none of it resonates, you might want to check out your moon and rising sign as well. So, I'm not sure where we're going to start, though. Okay. I was eyeballing these cards while ago, so. We'll go with these, fire sign. What do we have for the fire signs in this deck, please? Angel spirits and guides. I just heard some strange noise coming from over here. To the left of my table. Spirit, is that you? Okay. What do we have for the fire signs? Aries, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, please and thank you. Oh. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Just, yeah, just know you are never alone. There is a world full of people who are going through a lot of the same things you're going through. Also, a lot of the people who have um, the expansion of spiritual gifts and abilities that you have also. What else do we have for the fire signs? Alright, well those flipped over pretty fast. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Yeah, see? Fire signs? You're not alone. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Let me see if there's anything else here for you, fire sign. Any other cards here for the fire signs? No. I need some of you fire signs to know that some friends are leaving your lives for reasons also, okay? Everything happens for a reason. Two, two, two on the timer as I say this. Everything happens for a reason. Good, bad, ugly. I mean, it, it really does. And in leaving some of those people, it's kind of like a little bit of the same message that the earth signs had, but people who no longer serve your highest good are exiting left for a reason. Because you are needing to work on yourself and holding the light here, okay? The people who are exiting your life, they are the ones who want to dim your light and snuff your light. Also, this is a reminder for you empaths that you're not just picking up your on your own stuff. Like, there may be some drama going on in your life, but the emotions that you're having towards it is being amplified because... A, you're picking the moon's energies, the summer solstice, right? And also that you're picking up on everybody else's, the collectives, okay? I feel like some of you use humor a lot to delay dealing with feelings. I'm getting uh, crown chakra vibes, third eye chakra. Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. Yeah, those people who are leaving your life, they have their own path to go down. Even though you may be one of these light holders, it's not your job to help that person. Okay? They, they need some more time before they can heal themselves. A lot of people are going through this scared, fearful stage in life right now. And honestly, I feel like a lot of our lightness for us light workers and star seeds is scaring the shit out of some people. And their darkness is seeping out. Their darkness is starting to envelop them. And I see like, I know this is the brilliant, beautiful starry night sky, but I see this darkness around these people and I feel like it's just slowly trying to swallow them. For some of them, it will consume them whole. Okay, we're not going to be able to help that. And for others, it's just 
their time to remove themselves from your path so they can continue on with theirs, okay? Maybe it's family members also. I mean, it happens. Everyone's in our life for a reason. Let's see what this deck has for us. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. Please and thank you. Understand that you were in that person's life for a reason too. Okay? Don't discount any guidance or opinions or suggestions that you tried to give that person. Even if they seem like they completely have their blinders and ear, you know, ears covered up the whole time. Don't discount what you've said to them because it's going to make a difference to them sooner or later. Okay? Mm. Well, that's for somebody. Excuse my slurpiness over here. I got really thirsty all of a sudden. Water is life force energy. If some of y'all ain't drinking your water, you full 64 ounces a day, you need to. And also eating uh, veggies and fruits that are uh, hydrating. I think celery and obviously watermelon. And there's a few other ones too. Like, I get a hankering for celery, not just celery by itself, though. I have to put some peanut butter on it or dip it in ranch, okay? Every time I eat peanut butter and celery, though, it reverts me back to my kindergarten years, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice being in that state, you know? Childlike. It's pure essence. What do we have for the fire signs? Please and thank you, spirit. I'm having hot flashes right now. Some of y'all may be having hot flashes. I mean, I am a fire sign dealing with fire signs right now, but... Um, so, okay, if you're having hot flashes, do not fear of the big M word, which is menopause. Because hot flashes and cold chills are also the ascension flu symptom. You might want to look up ascension symptoms. But anyways, Archangel Raphael. Somebody may be wanting or needing to work with Archangel Raphael in heart healing. I don't know if I, I said, I thought I said crown chakra. I don't remember if I said heart healing, but I was feeling the heart healing because the heart chakra is green. And this card that says humor is green. Okay, I'm going to put that right under there. So either you're going through some heart healing right now. Or you need to do some clearing on your heart chakra. Okay. Carrying connections. So that's just going under the friendship or loneliness. Maybe some of you guys are realizing that you've grown apart from your significant other or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. That can happen too. There's always a potential potential for you to outgrow each other. I can't even talk here. <clears throat> All tied up. Don't feel like you can't remove yourself from these people though. Okay? Um, like I said, everything happens for a reason. So don't feel like you can't. Remove yourself from the situation. And don't beat yourself up if somebody decides to leave, remove themselves from your situation. Because in the long run, it is for the best. Um, if, it's, if it's meant to be, if they're meant to be in your life or you and theirs, it will, they will come back to you or you will find your way back to them. And this is essentially after all the heart healing and the healing takes place, okay? fire sign anything else here for the fire signs no okay let's get some angel messages here some of you may be feeling really tied up mentally like, you can't even have, like, a whole thought process without another thought.
coming into your mind. Racing thoughts. I guess that's what they would call it. Racing thoughts. Maybe you're wondering where your sense of humor went. Whatever's blocking your heart chakra and needing to be released from your heart chakra, that's what took your humor away too. Alright, what do we have here for the fire signs? It's already 9 o'clock over here. 9 p.m. in good old Oklahoma. Okay. All right. So I realized sometimes that I kind of push spirit and I just kept shuffling. So I'm going to put these to the side because these two came out <clears throat> in the near future. An opportunity will arise and see her. She's dancing in coin that is raining down on her 11, 11 on the timer. As I say that answer to a question you've been pondering is yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let me look over here. Okay. We'll go ahead and take these cards, okay? Big happy change is coming. I mean, this... This looks like a big happy change in itself, right? Don't discount opportunities coming your way. And some of, some of these may not even look like opportunities to you at the time. But don't discount anything, okay? Say yes. Say yes. Because it'll bring big happy changes for you, fire sign. <clears throat> don't forget to ask your angels for help and guidance in releasing the things from the heart chakra you need to release. And releasing the mental ties that you're having. If you're having problems sleeping at night, ask your angels to help you fall asleep and get a better night's rest. Okay? <clears throat> Helpful people are coming towards you if they're not already around you. And don't stop. Uh, that song, Don't Stop Believing, just came to mind. So don't stop believing that your angels are around you. Don't stop believing that you can ask for their help for anything. But we do have to be specific and precise on what we want to help what they what we want them to help us with huh? and i just noticed over here fire sign that you have two number five cards and a number 11 card what about anything about the opportunity coming towards the fire sign Also, if you're seeing something here that I'm not touching on and I'm not pointing out, not pointing out, don't discount yourself on that though. I don't know if this is supposed to be a Buddha though, but Buddha is coming to mind for some reason. Maybe somebody's been researching Buddhism. Oh my Buddha. Fire sign messages from this deck, please and thank you. Clear the air. Distant thunder. As soon as you release something, you release the ties to the negative friends or the negative connections. Because you have better connections coming towards you, fire sign, okay? That's going to be distant thunder. They move their negativity and their own inner conflicts and storms away from you. Because, remember, you are an empath, okay? And um, it's just the kind of thing right now that's uh, blocking you on your journey. <clears throat> Walk in beauty. Wondrous universe. There's another card in here called, it says, Believe in Magic. <clears throat> so 
support is all around you fellow travelers yeah you, you if you don't already you're gonna have like-minded people coming towards you also fire signs yeah this is a lot maybe you have earth sign placements in your chart also you might want to check out the earth sign readings because it was kind of it's touch and go but a lot of it's the same <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to pull from this deck because I keep eyeballing it. <clears throat> I think I myself need to do some more work on my solar plexus. Going through a transformation. Ooh, the Eagle King. Ooh, eagles are significant to me. I have an ancestor uh, who was, his name was Chief Cyril. Oh, I can't remember his last name. Dang it, Sarah. Cyril, Cyril, S-E-R-R-U-L. But anyways, in parentheses on Ancestry.com, it says Eagle. So they just called him Eagle for short. And whenever I was a little girl... I had an imaginary friend, and guess what his name was? Eagle. And I remember speaking to this imaginary friend, but I never saw him. I just knew he was there. That's another thing. Like, when we're in, when we're in the childhood stages, we're more susceptible and more open to receiving these messages and hearing our spirit team around us, okay? Revert back to that childhood. Transformation, intuition, and patience, fire sign. Patience, grasshopper. <clears throat> Illumination, enlightenment, celebration. Big happy changes. Remember opportunity coming in the near future? Big happy changes, right? Lots of enlightenment going on around here. Her crown chakra is super illuminated too. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I feel like the third, your crown chakra, maybe your third eye, are potentially having an exponential amount of expansion. The big picture and look, angelic help. Friendly reminder for those of you that still need to reach out to that spirit team to ask them for help. Um, also, a validation for those who have been asking for help from them, okay? They hear you and they're working on it. Alright. Three, four. You have the number synchronicity, three, four, five. All right. Nope. Okay. We're going to see what angel messages they have for you. And then I'm going to pull my handwritten oracle messages that I did. <laughs> I shuffle so hard. Sometimes it blows my little tea lights out. What do we have for the fire signs and angel messages in this deck? You wanted to come out, so I'm going to let you peek on out there. I feel like there's one more. Is that you? Oh, okay. That was just spirit saying you're pushing it. Okay. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Archangel Gabriel. Oh, okay. So we have Archangel Raphael and Archangel Gabriel coming through for you guys. Um, if you're not sure what you should call upon them for, look them up. Messenger of creativity and hope. Your spirit team says, keep the faith, keep the hope alive. 1919 on the timer as I look down. This also reminds me of a card that's in this deck over here. Oh, you can't see it. <clears throat> but anyways, it says, your children on earth and in heaven are protective. They're very protected. So I feel like that's kind of the same message for you guys. Your children on earth and in heaven are protected and well cared for by their angel teams. Okay. Money. Find a way to abundance. <clears throat> and we had opportunity, right? 
I'll let you look at that. They're really cool cards. I love, love, love these cards. There's always so much going on in them, too. And I never really take the time to actually study. Because, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words, right? And that's what makes reading Oracle so... Well, it is easier to me. But I'm sure some people who do strictly just tarot probably say that maybe Oracle's not that receptive to them but anyways the little mermaid is coming to mind that's an owl blowing a horn <laughs> I didn't know owls could play the trumpet <clears throat> I guess there's no hidden meaning in there sorry gratitude be grateful for all you have be grateful for what you've been for through thus far it's what shaped and molded you of who you are today. Again, I'm going to point this out. Similar message in the earth sign reads, okay? Be grateful for what you have. The electric in your house, the Wi-Fi, the gas in your car, the running water, the ability to do, choose right from wrong. All right. I'm going to pull some of my little oracle cards here, and we're going to wrap this up. 21, 22 on the timer. What do we have for these fire signs out of this final message, please? And thank you. Was it you guys I said something about mindful meditations on? No. I think it was our signs. They got the message also <clears throat> about um, just doing like three to five minute meditations. Oh, at the very beginning I said, are y'all drinking your water? That's that. Drink more water. On, I think that was on the earth signs as well. Five minute mindful meditations will benefit you greatly. And you can even look those up. Guided mindful meditations. I mean, shoot. Take a break at work or scamper off to the bathroom and look one up on YouTube. Why are you afraid? Fire sign. Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid of healing your heart or opening your heart and being open and susceptible to potential angelic help or uh, looking into other spiritual beliefs? Hmm. Heal your solar plexus. All right, fire signs. If it resonated, I would love to know when, why, and how. <laughs> But of course, as usual, you guys don't really comment, but that's okay. You can also reach out to me on my Facebook. Um, it is under Eagle Lily Oracle, and actually I do need to start putting links to that below. I think I'll do that here in just a moment. So there is a link to the Facebook page, but most of you guys come from that Facebook page. So I think that's probably why I forget to mention it. And as I'm doing this monologue... I felt drawn to look at the bottom of the deck on this and look look who we have again, guys. Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. He is strong with y'all, okay? He's helping you heal. And as always, if it resonated, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe, please, and thank you. Until next time, love and light.